I think what makes Rachel stand out is her her ambition and her um, youth and the moral journey that she goes on th- throughout this. You know, we, when we first meet her, she's she's incredibly ambitious, but she has complete faith in in the police and the institutions that she's serving and. Um, and she has quite a single track mind in that she knows where she she knows what she wants to get to and she knows where her what her career track is and um, but she also um, she's not just about um, ambition career ambition she also has a very strong moral compass and the desire to get to the truth and what I love about the first series is that 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 they they both come head to head and she starts to have to question her own um, uh, her own morality and what it is that she would do for the job and how much the job means and um and I think that is uh, that's what kind of makes her interesting in the first place. One of the hardest things about starting prep for the series, but also one of the interesting things, and because Rachel learns, she goes on such a journey over the six episodes and uh a lot a lot of it the pop you know the, the the viewers learn with her but a lot of it Rachel learns things before the viewers learn them and just having to because we shot all six episodes at once so having to track her not only her like moral journey but her literal what she knows when and who from journey and who she's trusting when because of what and what she might suspect and what she knows that was quite a sort of like uh quite a plot point for me to have to follow. Yeah, I mean, I always love shooting on location and I always love shooting in and around um, London because it's um, home. Um, there's something beautiful about the like bleakness of some of the settings and I, it did feel like a lot of the time we were shooting in, uh, shooting in a lot of car parks in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> and shooting in the snow a lot of the time. Um, but, you know, I think that's, that's partly what I love about filming is mm. that sort of the excitement of uh, running around through empty streets at 2am. <laughs> so I think they do exist, but only in counter-terrorism offices and that was the one floor that I wasn't allowed on so I did I mean I shadowed in the Met and I visited quite a few um homicide offices that were all very different um uh, depending on sort of where where they were in London but um but yeah I never got I never got into counter-terror that's my that's going to be my aim for next year <laughs>